team? Welcome to Training Camp. I'm Coach Ari, and I'm going to be leading you through this workout today from Training Camp Fitness. You know you're always going to get a great sweat training online with the Training Camp team. Today's workout is all about anti-rotation through the core, which means fighting gravity as we're moving so that our core is super strong. All right, it's called our strong core hit number one, because there's more than one in our series that I've programmed for you throughout the next couple of months, okay? At training camp, we always have some type of core training. Today's workout is going to focus on getting sweaty in a short amount of time. You're gonna need a set of dumbbells, and if you want, you can use a mini band, but that's optional, okay, for one of our exercises. So um, I would recommend anywhere from eight to 20 pounds. We have plank pull-throughs today. We have a bare plank renegade row. We have palms to elbows, a single leg RDL to row, low row, and our RDL is our reverse um, deadlift, okay? So, uh, <laughs> And then we have our suitcase squat, okay, single arm suitcase squat today. So that's gonna probably require a little bit heavier of a weight. So if you haven't already, pause the video, get your equipment ready, and make sure you warm up, okay? Just five minutes, five minutes, get that body right, twist that spine. We have tons of dynamic warm-ups in the on-demand library in our mobility section, okay? All right, so here's how today's workout's gonna work. We have three exercises in each circuit. We only have two circuits today. It's gonna be a quick and efficient workout. That's what we like around here, okay? Three exercises. We're gonna move in reps of 12, 20, and then the next set will be 12 and 10, all right? So grab your weights. Our first set, our first circuit has three exercises, and the first one is a plank pull-through. So you're gonna grab your weight, pull it across, hand stays in front, option is to come down to the knees. Second, we have squat touchdowns. That's gonna be squatting down, touching the opposite foot. Option is gonna be to walk it out and walk it up. Last but not least, third move, bear, plank, renegade row. So in tabletop position, you're gonna dig your toes into the ground, lift your knees off the ground, and hands are gonna come up for that low row, okay? So there you have it, we're gonna get started. We got 12 reps on our plank pull through, and the first round is just for you to get an idea of where you wanna be with your weight choices. I always suggest you can go up as you go. Okay, so get that water and let's get started. 12 reps, plank pull-throughs. We're jumping right into it, team. Let's go, let's get sweaty. Okay, so starting with the hands right above the weight, we're gonna pull it through for 12, okay? Now there are two ways you can do this. You can turn the weight sideways and pull, or you can actually pick up the dumbbell which is a little bit harder, okay? Halfway through. Now your goal is to keep your hips from rocking, so see how wide I have my feet. Keep going, four, three, but if you come down to your knees, two, make sure that booty is out of the air, okay? And last one, beautiful. Coming up to get our heart rate up, total body work today. Here we go, squat touchdowns. We got 20 of them, okay? Sometimes it's nice to just freshen it up and not work against the clock. And then when you have a good rep count, you can take this workout anywhere with you, okay? Woo, already starting to feel the burn, team. Okay, so remember you can tap it out, just like this. That's it. Five, four, do you have to touch the ground? No. Last two, last one, beautiful. Coming back down to the ground, a renegade row. Okay, we're in bear. Remember, tabletop position, knees, back them up, back them up. They should drop right under your hip crease. Okay, here we go. Two weights, slight, come off the ground. Knees are only a few inches from the ground. Get lower, I can see your butt up in the air. Woo, option. Put the weights down or put your knees down in between reps. Then get back to work. I'd love to see you finish this. You can also do one knee at a time. If you're gonna do that, then you're gonna pick up the opposite knee, okay? So I'm rowing opposite hand, picking up opposite knee. But again, make sure that you're bringing the knee back underneath the hip, okay? 
All right, team, you got three, two, one, relax. We're gonna come back up to the top so you don't have to go very far, but you can take a little water break if you want. You know we always have our water here. Okay, so take as much time as you want. We're going to jump right into the next series. Like I said, it's gonna be really quick today. Um, that's just gonna be to help our wrists. Now, if you have any problems with your wrists, that's why I have these yoga blocks here. Um, to elevate your wrists can be very helpful for some people. Um, and then I'll give you another tip on the plank pull through as well. So always keep some yoga blocks handy. If you don't have them, get them on Amazon. They're great for push-ups, planks, anything really on the ground. They help a ton. All right, so let's go back to the top. Plank pull through, okay? Setting it up, nice wide stance, bringing the weight over. Okay, you can really challenge yourself with weights here, I promise you. Make sure you're breathing. <sighs> you're gonna hear me breathing a lot recently. That head congestion is no joke. So, <laughs> I apologize. Woo! Thank you for working out with me today. Thank yourself for showing up as always. That's it, three, two, Last one, we're getting up to standing. Let's go, let's go on your feet. Okay, we've got 20. That ponytail is gonna bounce around for sure. That's it. Swing that opposite arm back. Touch the ground if you can. That's it. You can be here. Maybe you do half the reps here, half jumping, okay? Perfect. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Getting down to the ground, bare plank, renegade row. Here we are. Whoo! Okay, that goes very fast, right? Very fast. Okay, lift the knees up. I'm gonna adjust them. Okay, if you need to, put your hand down in between reps instead, okay? So again, if you're on the knees, opposite hand, opposite knee comes up. The goal is really just to get your hips straight down without opening up. That's our anti-rotation. Last four, three, breathe, two, and one, relax. Beautiful work. We have one more set. And that's it, we're gonna move on to circuit number two, okay? Quick set, sweat today. If you're not sweating, first of all, that's not just the only sign of a good workout. Second of all, if you're not out of breath, that means you're in good shape, or you could also try heavier weights, okay? Like I always say, you can really challenge yourself with a lot of these moves. You're ready to go back to the top, okay? Let's keep it moving. Plank pull throughs, 12 reps, here we go. Here we go. Pull it through, hand stays in front of the weight. That's it, I see you team, I see you working hard. This workout is great for any athletes getting outside, golfers, tennis players, volleyball players. And then of course, anybody who is a moving, breathing human because we want to make sure that we have a strong core for everything we do. Last four, three, two, and one. Woo! Getting up on your feet. Let's go, let's go. Okay, squat touchdowns. No time to waste. That's it. We got 20 reps here. Remember, move the knees down, not the back down. So we're squatting right here. Three, two, and one. Relax. Perfect. We are on to circuit number two. You go ahead and rest. I'll demo the second circuit. So you've done these before. You probably don't like them if you're doing them right. Palms to elbows, okay? We're gonna be up here, and it's elbow, elbow, palm, 
palm. Okay, I'll give you more tips as we go along. You can also be on your knees. Second move, single leg RDL. So you're gonna need a weight that you can low row with as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the weight in our anchor leg. We're gonna come down, we're gonna row on the same side, not the opposite side today, okay? We're gonna come down and then low row. So if you can have the leg straight or bent, I'll give you options throughout the, the circuit. Single arm suitcase squat, here we go. You're gonna have your feet where you naturally squat and um, I have a mini band here. If we wanna use that, you can. Again, since it's quick today, you might not be using that, but if you have the time, it's always just an added challenge putting tension on the abductors. Okay. I hope you have some banging music on today. Here we go, 12 reps, nice and slow. So we're coming down, down, up, up. That's one rep. That's why there's only 12. Okay, your goal is to imagine you have marker on your elbows and you have to put the palm back exactly where you left it. When we get to halfway, which will be soon, I'll suggest right here, you change the leading hand. Remember, you can be on your knees, okay? So elbow drops right underneath the shoulder. We don't wanna be too far here, okay? Right underneath the shoulder, you got four. Change the leading hand, so my left arm goes down, my left arm comes back up. Get your butt down. <laughs> Last one, right here. Woo! Starting to sweat, team, starting to sweat. Okay, this is my favorite move, coming up. Single arm, single leg, <laughs> RDL. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down, low row, come back up. We've got 10 on each side. Whoo! Oh yes, I told you it was a total body workout. Do you see me just fall over there? So, find your balance. Hopefully this is easier because you're not talking. <laughs> As you come down, remember you can bend your knee like mine is in the back. I still feel this stretch in my hamstring on the left hand side. Hips are straight. Another option is to do a split stance and just push your butt back. What you're doing, is you're basically hinging your hips. So put that hand in your hip crease as you bend. That's a hinge, okay? Three on this side, two, lift your toes up. You'll feel the hamstring engage. And last one, awesome, other side, okay? So let's turn it around. One side will be better than the other, and that's normal. <laughs> That's normal. Okay, reset at the top, pull your shoulders back. Go slow, slow, slow. Slow and controlled. Believe it or not, this is what gets our heart rate up. This is what gets our heart rate up. Not, you don't have to jump all the time. Isn't that good news? I like that. Remember, you can always bend the leg or again, that split stance. Put your hand in your hip crease. Okay, if that's not bending, then your leg, chances are it's not straight enough and you're bending from the knee, not the hip. Okay, bend from the hip, good. Last two, last one, excellent. All right, our single arm suitcase squat. So you can use a mini band if you like. I like to have a little bit more tension to challenge me on the abductors. This is the outside of the hip. It's a movement that we just don't work enough. So if you have a band available and you wanna put that on, put it on the quads right here. So what we're gonna do is we have 10 on each side for our suitcase squat. We're gonna take the feet to a natural point where you feel like you can squat from. You can have your toes pointed slightly forward, but the biggest thing is that you wanna keep your chest lifted, and as you squat down, you're pushing the knees towards the pinky toes, okay? So, I use my hand here for stability. I like this. Gives me some balance, okay? Whoo! And this one is one you can definitely use a heavier weight too. So what's gonna happen is the heavier weight that you go, the more challenging it's gonna be to and one, because your, your body's gonna sink down and your goal is to keep it level, okay? So, we wanna keep these shoulders square, straight ahead, okay? 
right here. So I like to give you guys all the angles. Good. That's it. So you're avoiding this left side of the core, whole left side of the body is working. Last two, we have 10 reps here. And last one, beautiful. Okay, so that's the end of your first uh, round. We're gonna start round number two here in just a second. Grab some water if you need it, recover. Always take a couple of seconds, at least 30 seconds, okay? That's all I ask, at least 30 seconds. And now we have palms to elbows, starting at the top, okay? Palms to elbows. Hands are gonna be right underneath the shoulders. Once again, going super slow. Moving the hips is not an option, okay? Woo, all right. Starting to see those arms light up red. That means the blood is flowing, baby. That's right, good job. <laughs> You're working hard today as always. Squeeze that booty if you're down here low. Okay, switch the leading arm, nice and slow. And remember, the hands come forward. Okay, I'm gonna do this facing you guys. Hands come down, down, up, up, and it's not here in the middle, okay? All right, last two, last one. Arms are on fire already, come up. We have our single leg RDL, okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Start on your weaker side, that's what I always say. So find the balance, okay. Hinge, put your hand in the hip crease if that helps you. Come up, 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 okay. And you can tap the toe. If you're like, okay, this is not a super sweaty hit for me, that's okay. Again, it's gonna be as challenging as you make it. So, pick up something heavy. I promise you will get out of breath. <laughs> Ooh, this left side, that balance. Remember, you can always do that staggered stance. Your coach is falling over here or bend the knee in the back. Find the balance. It's just, team, it is just not there for me today. <laughs> And I absolutely love this move. Last two, one more. Excellent work. Okay, let's switch sides. Find your balance once again. Okay, you can bring the hand down and rotate it. Totally up to you. The point is not to go so low, okay? The point is tension in this anchor leg. This one behind your hamstring. That's right back here behind the quad. So if you're trying to reach the ground, you're missing the point, okay? Spread your toes, good. Last three, two more, that's it. Find that staggered stance if you like, okay? Pull the shoulders back. So you can see, I don't go down very far. Okay, last three. Last two. One more. And last one, perfect. Shake it out, shake it out. Moving on, we got our suitcase squat once again. Okay, I'm gonna start with my left side, feet underneath me, relatively forward, okay. Push the butt back. Keep the shoulders square. That's it, good. If you have a lighter weight today, you can absolutely do more reps, okay? We gotta be flexible with what we have at home, so feel free to do 15 reps on each side, okay? We got five, four, three, two, last one, and switch sides. Okay, here we go. Looking straight ahead. Pull the belly button into the spine. Are you breathing? <laughs> Super important. I remember when I just started working out and I had no idea what breathing was. I had no idea really about anything and it just took someone telling me, breathe in on the way down, exhale on the way out. 
and then I started to practice, and then it becomes muscle memory. Okay, last three. Rep it out, team. Let's go. One more. Excellent job. All right, team. We have one more round. Get yourself right. Get yourself right. <laughs> you need a little break. You know it. Always taking a little dance break over here. Whatever you need to do, get yourself ready. Sometimes you need a little pep talk. We're going back to palms to elbows, 12 reps. Let's go, let's hit it. This is where you're gonna see that sweat. As long as you keep moving, you're gonna be burning in no time, baby. Now I'm rushing through this, so I'm slowing down, and you should too. <laughs> okay, drop to the knees if you need. Be intentional with those movements. Be intentional with the movements, just like you're intentional with everything else in your life. You know what shoes you wanna to wear today. You know what shoes feel the best for your workout, for your outfits, all that good stuff, okay? All right, sweat starting to pour. Starting to come off of me. Are you ready? That single leg RDL is calling your name. Let's go, boo. Let's go. Okay, left side. I always start with my weakest side, okay? Find that hip crease. We're working on our balance. Don't worry if this leg in the back isn't going up very far. What matters is you're like a pendulum, okay? You're tipping over in a straight line, straight line head to toe. And that includes the booty, <laughs> okay? Love to see you working hard, team. I love to see you mixing your workouts in with all your favorite activities. Okay, TCF, we're all about a balanced lifestyle and if you feel like you need to spend all your time in the gym to get results, then that's fine. But just know that you don't have to. Just know that you don't have to. So we got all different types of athletes here. We got moms, we got tennis players, golfers, we got volleyball players, triathletes, dirt bikers, mountain bikers, all of that. There's not one size fits all. And if you work out and you have a desire to be stronger in your mind, stronger in your body, you wanna live an active lifestyle, guess what? You are an athlete, baby. Okay, rest, good job. Suitcase squat and you're done. Here we go. Let's bring the feet out. So they're not very wide so that we can make room for this weight, okay? As you come down, squeeze your booty at the bottom all the way up to the top. Get a little squeeze at the top, okay? Perfect. Active engagement. Five, good. Throwing you some extra reps here. Three, two, and one. Whew. All right, other side, other side. This arm just keeps me balanced. You don't have to bring it out here if it doesn't help you. Keep that chest proud. I want you to think about one thing that you're grateful for today. I've started a gratitude journal, five things every morning, and it just helps me to get my mind right for the day. So think about it. And then when you lose sight throughout the day, think about it again later, refer back to it. Keep it front of mind. You got three, two, and last one team, great job. Woo, you are done, you are done. Fantastic work, okay? Make sure to take five to 10 minutes to stretch here. It's very, very important. As you know, we love mobility at TCF. So, as always, like I was saying before, remember that TCF lifestyle, it is all about what you make of it. We wanna spend, we wanna spend less time in the gym, more time outside, and make sure that you're feeling your body properly. Now go be an athlete again, and I will see you at the next workout.